solar panels are well a bit of a mystery aren't they <laughs> because we never know what's the best one to buy or you know what the differences are so interesting to know now that we've got the lithium battery and the inverter and I've got two different types of solar panel I've got the uh, original 100 watt solar panel that came with the van I've uprated the um, charge controller for that to the MPPT type of charge controller not necessarily because it would have needed MPPT um, because of the 100 watt low power um, but because I needed to move it away from the sergeant control unit so it it, it is it now matches the other 200 watt 24 volt panel so I've got the same pretty much the same MPPT uh, control panel on both and it's interesting to note that I'm looking at this because I can see what the outputs are on these uh, let's have a look at the 100 watt solar panel that's the original solar panel with the uh, Victron MPPT controller and that currently giving me uh, 48 watts which converts to 3.4 amps uh, coming in now when I looked earlier this was giving me uh, 32 watts um, so about well about a third of its uh, capacity uh, not that well, you need ideal conditions to get 100% um, but let's have a look at the other one the 200 watt and the, the 100 watt is a 12 volt panel and the 200 watt is a 24 volt panel um, and that tw 200 watt panel is giving me 127 Watt, watts of power I don't know if you can see that I'll put it up on screen um, let's just grab a shot of that and uh, so there's 127 watts of power out of a 200 watt solar panel and 43 so I'm getting almost two thirds of the power out of the 200 watt and I'm getting less than half out of the 100 watt and the 200 watt panel is giving me 9 amps uh, let's just go and I think you'll remember the 100 watt panel was uh, giving me a, a lot less uh, let's just see 3 amps so actually the 24 volt panel uh, through an MPPT controller is giving me 3 times as many amps in exactly the same sunlight because I've got because I've got the, the 100 watt panel there the 200 watt panel there it's about midday just after so the sun's at its highest they're both flat on the roof um, one's 24 volt that's the difference one's 12 volt and the MPPT controllers are both Victron working in the same way the uh, output voltages or the output ampage is uh, limited to uh, I think the smaller one is limited to 10 amps but we're getting nowhere near that and the bigger one is limited to 15 amps but we're getting nowhere near that so um, what's the what's the conclusion from that uh, let's just uh, take a shot of that one I'm getting 27 amps from there so um, my conclusion is that if you're looking to buy a solar panel probably buy 24 volt because that seems to be the only difference um, because it's you know it's a solar panel it's not flexible they're both solid um, with an aluminium frame they've both got the same cabling they're both using almost exactly the same MPPT controller going through into the same battery and the 24 volt um, for double the size you'd think it would give me double the um, double the amps but no it's given me more than that uh, it's given me an extra 50% so I think um, 24 volt panels probably are better than 
12 volt panels. I'm no expert, but um, that's that's sort of empirical evidence. I, I can see it here, that's what it's giving me. But if you know uh, how all that works, why don't you pop it in the comments and give us a little bit of a tutorial. Maybe I can understand it if you tell it to me in little baby steps and I can relay it back to everybody. But that's it, solar panels, still a bit of a mystery. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get a reminder of uh, when we upload a new video. I'm going to see you again tomorrow.